One of my friends asked me if I could help her daughter, who was rebelling against practicing for a piano exam, it was only one month away. To be fair, playing piano from sheet music can be very daunting, especially for young children who really struggle to differentiate between the notes on a music staff. Identifying a note requires them to count the number of lines and spaces, perhaps even needing a rhyme to remember the letter. No fun here. But maybe we can turn it into a color matching game. I decided to color the notes of her pieces and to draw a corresponding diagram of the notes. If you look at these colored notes of the little piano diagrams above them, doesn't it also make you want to play the notes? The colors help the brain to interpret the information by matching the colors of the notes to the colors of the piano diagrams, making it easy to know where to play. Her motivation immediately increased. She started practicing before and after school, out of her own, and by the next lesson, she could play her pieces from memory. But then her teacher stopped her from using the colored notes because she said it made it too easy. Surely there's something wrong with this picture. She was, in, after all, in grade one and only seven years old. While playing music with color support, you automatically start to learn the geography of the notes and the music st stuff and the instrument, making it easy to play without looking at your fingers and helps you to start using traditional notation. Over time, we can gradually start to take away the colors of the notes until they've all moved into the shadow realm. Now the student has internalized the position of the notes on the stuff and can smoothly transition to reading traditional notation without any color support. As you know, the benefits of music education is tremendous, but often children who are forced by their parents to take music lessons feel disempowered when they struggle to read the notes. Soon their practice becomes tedious and repetitive, and soon they, lead, they are led to frustration, friction, and resentment. To create a kind and gentle learning environment for my students, I provide essential visual support by placing little stickers of colored dots and blocks on the fretboard so that I can see where to press to play the different notes and chords. I've also created a corresponding set of symbols that, I've, that I use to compose my own songs and my students as well. The colored rings indicate the open strings. And rings that are filled in means you have to press on a colored dot while you pluck the string. Blocks of four sides are played by strumming four strings at once. This enables me to also communicate easily with my students through written and oral instructions and helps them to understand and make sense of the music. It creates a visual communication system that goes from the senses straight to the imagination, enabling me to communicate beyond language. It also makes it easier for them to associate the sounds and symbols. An automatic cognition of music, the way we naturally learn to communicate through body language and speech. Multimodal learning activities, such as coloring the notes on a music staff or color coding musical instrument diagrams, is a very fun way to learn music theory. It encourages interaction and stimulates interest. Memory techniques such as a mind palace can enable you to memorize things 10 times as well. So too am I trying to hack the brain's nearest circuitry in order to accelerate the process of learning the sought after and still very rare skill of learning a musical instrument. But let me take you back a bit. My journey has been a fascinating one. I'm a qualified mechanical engineer with years of experience in the petrochemical industry where I've led multi-million rand projects. During a holiday trip to Egypt, I became inspired by the geometric artworks and decided to look for more geometric patterns in my own life. I started combining my creative and analytical ways of thinking by creating visual representations of my own mathematical ideas. After saving up, I decided to go on a sabbatical. I took a leap of faith 
and traveled around the world for 20 months, always accompanied by a ukulele or charango. Playing a musical instrument gave me the confidence to engage with people from around the world. It even helped me to make not only friends, but at times I, music, even the power of music saved my life when I ran out of money just as I ran um, across the Brazilian border. Coming back to South Africa, I decided to combine the ukulele with the hula hoop while also starting a career in bioinformatics. <laughs> and then one day I discovered a way that I can share something magical. I had a moment of realization In the desert while sharing my music I created a new type of diagram Combining four chords into one This became the blueprint of my first ukulele method <laughs> <clears throat> I'd stumbled upon a new way of explaining the basic four chords of the ukulele using a colored diagram that you can use like a map to navigate from one chord to the next. With this, I could instantly teach someone where to place their fingers for these important four chords and give them enough ideas to start exploring while building their musical repertoire. They can play hundreds of popular songs with these same chords and they can combine them with countless strumming or picking patterns that they can use to create their own style of expression. Mastering the ukulele is only a step away from becoming a multi-instrumentalist. It provides a very good introduction to all the musical elements including melody, harmony In fact, the ukulele is a knowledge embryo embedded with skills that can help you with things such as mathematics, <laughs> physics, language, geography, history, and of course, even the performing and creative arts. In effect, a balanced approach across both left and right brain, and therefore a more balanced life. I realized that this could be the beginning of something that can help us all to develop and heal, to find inspiration and connection, to create a balance between our analytical and creative ways of thinking. I realized that I've got to commit myself to this cause. I can make a big impact by sharing this idea with the world. I committed myself to teaching and developing my ukulele system with my entire being. I started teaching informally while busking with my ukulele and hula hoop in the street, on the beach and in a park, giving everyone a chance to play the ukulele and for some even while doing the hula hoop. Initially, becoming a ukulele teacher was full of challenges, but despite these, the seemingly insignificant moments made it all worthwhile. The smile on her face, the absolute excitement when someone gets it right for the first time, and especially when I see their confidence grow, their sense of achievement, and when they're finally heard, now they matter. Since then, I've continued to develop my ukulele system, and I've taught hundreds of children using my system every day. I've also incorporated some inclusive education principles, and I've adapted my system to support traditional teaching methodologies. I've even created countless books with color-coded songs and activities for my students. And I've implemented my approach in schools across Cape Town. Let me introduce you to Harry. Harry is a student of mine, an energetic nine-year-old who only started speaking at age six. He's autistic and he's an amazing human being. Harry started his ukulele journey with me two years ago with the opening melody of Twinkle Little Star by plucking the open ukulele strings which I've marked underneath with colored rings. 
Red, red, blue, blue, navy, navy, blue. And that's as simple as it starts. Soon Harry learned to read the colored notation and had a range of songs and sounds that he enjoyed playing with notes and chords while singing along. His pitch awareness has improved and now he can even sing songs and tune with the melody, which was a big challenge before. His concentration has improved as well as his ability to follow instructions. Now he color codes the songs himself to support his own learning process. It's really been amazing to see Harry's progress. Imagine every day you had the chance to help children play with the building blocks of music. Imagine you got to see them grow into independent musicians. Imagine you got to share in their challenges and their successes. Through my color teaching system on the ukulele, I found my calling, a divine invitation, where I feel like my work becomes the solution to a very important problem. How can we bring kindness and meaning back into the way that we teach music and interact with the world? If you want to become a ukulele teacher yourself or play on, learn to play the ukulele, all you need is a color-coded ukulele and your imagination. I invite you to join me on this colorful music journey to co-create the story, to inspire our children, to dream big and innovate together. I dream of a world where children can freely express themselves through color and sound, artworks and poems, stories and songs, and tales of musical adventure. So try to find your own solution to a problem and keep pursuing it. Keep on improving on your ideas and solutions and over time, you will find your own magic. If you explore your possibilities relentlessly, you will find your superpower. What's your superpower? Can you turn the world around? Can you love a flower? And hear the colors in the sound? Can you fly over the mountains? I feel the to yourself as you wear your golden crown.